Good morning. Okay, so I had an interaction with a doctor today. Let me tell you all about it. So this podcast is about disability and diagnoses. And um, I have several diagnoses. As you know, I have depression and anxiety. I am suspected of ADHD. I consider myself also autistic. Um, and what else have I got as actual diagnosis? Right, my physical stuff, my Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. And then all the smaller diagnoses stem from that. So things that have been imaged in my spine are like degenerative dis- disease. I have at the cervical level in several places, thoracic and lumbar. Uh, I have uh, severe stenosis up here in my cervical uh, roots, uh, nerve roots. I have um, IBS, which is, uh, you know, part of my gastroparesis, IBS, slow digestion. Um, I have prolapsed hemorrhoids, uh, which are being treated, but slowly because it's very traumatic for me to have anything up my butt, uh, <laughs> including the anoscope. Um, the I have uh, had um, pelvic organ pro- prolapses, uh, and that's been fixed surgically. Um, anyway, that's all I can think of at the moment. So I have some experience with being diagnosed. Oh my God, I was also diagnosed with fibromyalgia. So I have experience being diagnosed with mental disorders uh, or psychological disorders as well as physical disorders and um, interacting with doctors. And it's really interesting because there really is a disconnect between uh, the patient experience and the doctor experience and what the doctor is trying to accomplish um, and what the patient is trying to accomplish. So what I'm always trying to accomplish in my life is to be my best. And what the doctor is trying to accomplish is for me to just get by. And I have proof now because I went to the doctor uh, this morning with my son who has a new diagnosis and we were talking about, well, let's uh, see if we try ADHD medications. Let's see if it makes a difference for him um, and, you know, makes things easier for him because he has a diagnosis because there was actually something there to diagnose, right? The diagnosis doesn't come out of the air. The diagnosis comes from symptoms. <laughs> so what this doctor said to me was interesting, as in stupid, because um, he said, we don't give out medication so that he can be A++. We give out medication so he can get by. Might that be a problem? I don't care. He doesn't care. My kid doesn't care that we did not get medication today. The doctor's point of view was that wet, let high school come and see if there are difficulties then at that point and then ask for medication if it's necessary. But right now in elementary school, with all the accommodations that he has, he's doing very excellently. He doesn't really need the medication. And on the surface, that sounds really reasonable. Except how do you expect a child who has always been themselves to suddenly be able to take a different perspective and say, oh, my ADHD brain that I've been diagnosed with because there was evidence of ADHD, uh, considers my experience the norm. But what happens if you put a medication into that ADHD brain, even if he's doing very well, he's doing a lot of compensating. You put the medication in the ADHD brain and then suddenly the compensation effort isn't really necessary because the brain is functioning a little differently or a little bit faster and things become as easy as they're supposed to be. That's an impossible 
choice for a child who has not had the experience of a well, smooth running brain, right? And for a parent <laughs> who also has, you know, their own diagnoses and is most probably never experienced a well, smooth running brain, <laughs> I'm like, I'm thinking that this is ableism. Is it? I think it is. I think it is. I think that this is an aspect of ableism. That medication is not to make you A++. It's to make you get by. And I'm like, mm, no, no. Medication is there to help a brain that is coping in many different ways. See what happens when you don't have to cope in a hundred different ways and use up all of that mental energy in a hundred different ways. Even if you're already brilliant, you could be better. It could be easier. It could be less stressful. It could be a lot of things. I don't see what the problem is with trying a trial of medication for a week or two or a month or two and just getting a sense for how that fits with the body and the brain. Okay, so that's what I had to say. I had this interaction with the doctor. I'm not upset. I'm just noticing, noticing that we're coming from different perspectives, definitely. And I think that that exemplifies the doctor perspective against the patient perspective. What is he trying to accomplish? Getting by. What am I trying to accomplish? the best that I can be. Those are two different goals. All right. Look here. Look hearing. Look hearing forward to your comments, IB. <laughs> That's how my brain works. I would love to have a discussion about this. All right. Tell me what you think. Bye now.